Hey everybody, I'm Sam Gross from electricbikereport.com and today we are going to do a very quick video on how to install the Smart Bike Wheel Electric Bike Conversion Kit. So if you're like us and you've got the basic version of the Smart Bike, Smart bike Wheel, all that really comes inside the box is the wheel itself, a small collection of tools, an optional disc rotor if you need it, and really that's it. So to start, you're gonna need to take the front wheel off of your donor bike, the bike that you're going to end up bolting the smart bike wheel to. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because it really depends on what type of bike you're using, what type of brakes it has on it, what type of quick release attachment or bolt on attachment it has to, to keep the wheel on the fork. But so I've already removed the front wheel off of our 2002 Gary Fisher Wahoo bike that we're gonna install this wheel onto. So when you pull the smart bike wheel out of the box, the nut and then all of the washers on the axle that you're gonna need to make sure you got the correct wheel spacing are already installed on the axle. You can see them on both sides here. So this is what just comes stock with this. It's kind of like a pseudo recommendation for how it should work. It also, the kit has a couple of additional thin washers in case you need to play with the spacing or you got a little bit extra play in your fork. I've actually installed the wheel on this bike before. I know that we're gonna have to use quite a few of those washers, but just to show the, for example's sake, we're gonna start with the stock uh, spacer arrangement. So first, take your bolts off of the axle. In addition to that, there's these little lock washers that should come off. Right, removing these, you're going to make your life a little bit easier. And then on the designed side, which is actually the drive side of the wheel, you pull your little, I guess this is a lock washer off, and that little notch fits inside the fork and keeps the wheel from spinning while the motor's on. So from here, we're just going to try and insert the wheel into the fork and see how it works. So before we do that, though, a couple of things to note. So this designed pattern on the outside of the wheel, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is on the drive side of the bike. So the side with the chain rings and the derailleur. So this is actually the correct orientation for the wheel. And then in addition to that, on the non-drive side, you've got this little silver mark on the very edge of the axle. You wanna make sure that silver mark is pointing downward towards your handlebars, or if you're installing this wheel with your bike right side up, it's gonna be facing up. But for us, for this bike, since it's upside down, it's gonna be facing down. So one last check before we drop this thing into the dropouts. Design on the outside, so on the drive side of the bike, and then look on your axle, which is on the non-drive side, and make sure your little silver part is pointing towards your handlebars. So in this case, it's pointing down. So go ahead, make sure your brake is out of the way. On this bike, we've got just like a little quick release on V-brakes, it's pretty easy to do, but again, that's gonna really be dependent on whatever bike you're installing this on. So go ahead and start to drop your wheel in. And you're gonna to have to probably, like I'm going to here, have to pull on the fork legs just gently to create a little bit of space because it is a tight fit. And voila, the wheel is in the dropouts. So one thing to note here real quick is not every fork is different and this wheel is not gonna fit into every bike the same way. So they include a handful of very thin spacer washers that you can use. And what you can use those for is if you've got a little bit of play in the fork, if this stock spacer arrangement doesn't really work for you, you can move those things around to give yourself a little bit more space to you can take up a little more space or you can even take out some space. So, but for us, this is gonna work right now. And then moving on from this, the next most important thing is you've got this other lock washer. So these washers, they're designed to fit into, into the opening of the fork leg. And what they do is they provide something for the motor to push against when it's forcing the, forcing the bike forward. If you didn't have these, the wheel might just actually spin inside the dropouts and the motor wouldn't actually power you anywhere. So we've already got one installed on the non-drive side, on the inside, and we're gonna take the next one, slide it over the axle, make sure it's fitting in that little slot, and then move on to these guys. So you've got two lock washers, which looks just like a little band of steel, and they're offset at the end, so it's got something to push against the outside of the nut. You put one on either side, Take your nuts, 
go ahead and screw them on. So last but not least, take your 18 millimeter wrench and just tighten these bolts down very well. And again, really make sure they're tight. Be extra careful because these are the only things holding your wheel onto the bike. But after you have that done, you're good to go.